Today we are going to discuss the Albert Coat of Arms. This is video three in a three-part video series because the Albert name has so many coats of arms associated with it. Before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer a genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. Now, the first coat of arms to discuss is the only coat of arms that I was able to find for the Albert surname that is associated with the British Isles. I wasn't able to find who it was granted to or who it was born by. If you know, please let us know in the comments. It is blazoned azure, a griffin, sagrant ore, crest, a demi-savage, wreathed about the middle with leaves, and over his shoulder, a sledgehammer all proper. Now, there was a Charles Albert, who was an industrial spy from France, who came to England in 1791. But obviously, if he was a spy, there would be no reason for the English authorities to be granting him a coat of arms. There was a Barnaby Albert, who died in 1756, who was a silk weaver of Dublin. There was an Albert in Ireland, who was armored juris, meaning he wore a coat of arms. I don't know if it was him. Given he was a silk weaver, I see no association with the griffin or the sledgehammer. So this looks like it's still a mystery to us. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Next one from Spain that was used by the family from Catalonia in Spain. And it is ore with a tree vert placed over a Mount Gules. There was an Alejandro de Albert, who was a nobleman and lord of Portilla, who attended the Cortes of the Principality of Catalonia in 1599 and was the son of Bernardo de Albert, who was Baron de Pons. And he was ennobled in 1530. Not sure if that branch has anything to do with this coat of arms or not, but it is one possibility. Von Albert of Silesia in Prussia wasn't able to find the armature on this either. There was a Paul Albert von Rattel Rudolfels Rizel, who was born in 1557 in Austria, who was elected Bishop of Breslau, which is in Silesia, but he died before it was consecrated. Another coat of arms found in Nuremberg, Germany in 1580, a family who descended from burghers in Franconia. Coat of arms granted in 1679 to Stephen Albert of Machvalva and his son Johann Albert. Coat of arms of the Albert family that came from Last Tox in Zemplin, Slovakia, and already in 1669 belonged to the landed nobility, and they were also found in several locations in Hungary. And Albert, who was, sec who was a, said to be a secret counselor to Ansbach, Bavaria in 1746. Not sure what is meant by secret counselor. And then we see the, the oak branches in this quarterly coat of arms from Ansbach, Bavaria, belonged to Johann Ferdinand von Albert, born 1745. He was knighted in the Kingdom of Bavaria on May 5th, 1808, the son of Jorg Ernst Albert, a feudal provost. Here we have the seal dated 1654 of Johann Albert of Hungary. And now over to Switzerland. Albert von Naders in the district of Brig in the canton of Valais, Switzerland. This was from the seal of Johann Peter Albert, alive in the year 1751. Johann Albert was a notary in Naders in the year 1663. Here we have a more modern version of the coat of arms of that family with a hunting horn. Albert von Berglin from Uri, Switzerland. The progenitor of this family was Johann Alberti from Maringo, who died in 1532 and had obtained the citizenship of Berglin in Uri, Switzerland. And lastly, 
a more modern version of the Berglund family, Albert von Alpnach. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.